There are many different ways to implement uh, quadratic voting, especially if you want to use quadratic voting not just to make a one-time set of decisions, but to decide policies for an organization or for a country over a long period of time. There is questions like, for example, who gets to start a vote? What is the process for starting a vote? So just like regular voting isn't just one kind of voting that is um, always the same process everywhere. The in, instead, you have rules on when elections can happen, when referendums can happen, what conditions you need to pass. And these rules usually differ system by system. With quadratic voting, it's the same thing. There is also a new uh, technique similar to quadratic voting that Glenn and I uh, recently developed called quadratic funding, or sometimes also called uh, liberal radical funding, which is focused on the specific use case of funding public goods. So this could be maintaining a park, writing open source software, building a road. But the idea is that you don't need to have the mechanism specify what the public goods are, right? Instead, you just have this process where anyone can start projects, anyone can donate to projects, and these projects could just be anything. And a formula similar to quadratic voting is used to put additional funding from a common pool toward projects that many people donate to. So if many people are willing to donate money to some project, then the formula kind of thinks that, oh, this is something that a lot of people care about. This is a public good. And so let's kind of magnify people's donations and put more money toward it. So this creates something that's like halfway in between a market and a direct democracy for choosing which projects to fund and how much. And there's math that says that under certain assumptions, this kind of approach is actually optimal. Now, quadratic voting um, is already being used in the Democratic Party in Colorado to vote on which policies to fund. Uh, it's being used in the uh, Taiwanese presidential hackathon to vote on projects. And there's many other um, places um, around the world that are considering of different ways of uh, applying it. Now, Glenn and I both think that tools like quadratic voting and uh, quadratic funding can be used to create a powerful new set of mechanisms for collective decision making, like a better version of the democracies and markets that we have today. They could be used to decide policies of governments and organizations, collectively fund public goods inside of a community for use cases like uh, zoning, um, improving the quality of discussion um, and uh, voting systems in internet forums, and many more use cases. But these are still new ideas, and they are for now still experiments. So I'm very happy to see that the Taiwanese presidential hackathon is taking the initiative to experiment with quadratic voting so that we can better learn how well it works and, and how people react to it in real life settings. I hope that this can be a great learning experience for both of us.